COVID-19 or the coronavirus is impacting most of our lives one way or the other. People are grounded in their homes and working from home has become the new normal. If you work for a large corporation, most likely you're covered as the conferencing solution is usually provided by the company you work for. However, if you're a small business owner or work for one, especially affected by this new pandemic, a nonprofit, educational institute, or just a group of like-minded folks who want to chit-chat looking at each other's face, friends and family uh, want to have some fun and uh, are on a tight budget, you have come to the right place. Today, I will be going over top five video conferencing solutions in this video. Please make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and bell button for more videos like this in future. And do not forget to share your thoughts, feedback, and questions in the comment section below. With that, let's get started. Making to number five in our list is Jitsi Meet. Jitsi.org was founded in 2013, a completely open source Java-based communication platform that is fairly easy to use without any sign-up needed. Just hit the start a call from the main page and you can give any name to your meeting. For instance, video conference call and hit the go uh, button. Once you do that, you will land into a live video session. Uh, for a demonstration purpose, I'm disabling the camera, uh, but you can always enable that's the whole purpose. The eye icon at the bottom right gives you the link to the video as well as the dial-in number. You can copy and send it by email, SMS, different numbers, call-in numbers. The dial-in numbers are available in different parts of the world uh, that you can send out to the folks. On the bottom left, you can share your screen, raise hand, or do the public or private chat with the attendants. On the right corner, right next to the eye icon, there are a whole bunch of different options from managing your video quality, uh, doing a full screen, streaming live video, to recording the video. You can also directly share that video with YouTube. Uh, blurring the background is only available in the beta version. I really like the fact that it integrates seamlessly with Slack, Google Calendar, and Microsoft O365. The advanced uh, feature allows you to build your own conference. And uh, ideally, I would recommend 35 participants, even though it allows you 75. So that is our Jitsi Meet. Number four in our list is Google Hangout. Google Hangout was founded in 2013 by Google. It allows up to 10 participants with the conference breeds under the free version. However, unlimited meeting duration with recording is available. It is browser based. However, I do prefer the Chrome extension because of the convenience on the top left, there is a menu that you will be using it a lot. It shows you the contacts, conversation over the chat, phone calls, invites, as well as different app downloads, settings and help feedback. In order to start the conversation, simply click on the plus. I can see the contacts right from there. Enter the name, email, or the phone. The chat takes you to the same place as well as the phone. And uh, you can also click on the invites and then it uh, takes you to the same place. Under the setting, you can set the notification for incoming messages as well as phone calls. You can also convert the emoji uh, from text, which is kind of cool feature I like. In order to start the call, simply click on the video call and here you go. You're in a live session. You can copy the link and invite send that by email. On the top right corner, there is a setting for audio and video uh, microphone. Since Google Voice is also part of the Google, it uh, seamlessly connects with this, which is a really cool feature I like. And here is that setting. On the top right, you can do share screen, uh, full screen chat, help and feedback is also available right on that tab, that button. 
Due to uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, Google is allowing all G Suite customers free upgrade to the Google Hangout, allowing up to 250 participants per call, 100,000 viewers live streaming within a domain, and recording meetings and saving to the Google Drive. And there is our Google Hangout. Number three in our list is Skype Meet Now. Skype Meet Now has recently been veiled by Microsoft. You do not need to have a Skype account in order to join. I repeat, no Skype account needed for Meet Now. You can do unlimited video calls with recording. Simply go to create a free meeting on the top right. And you will see a URL that you can email to the participants or simply send it by Outlook or Gmail if you have that set up. In order to host the account, you must have a Skype account. Once you sign in, you can blur the background or share a screen from the main page. Once you uh, sign in, you will land into this window under setting on the top left. You will see account profile setting where you can put your profile picture, Skype name, email, birthday, uh, also general appearance, audio, video, calling, messaging, notifications, contacts, help and feedback. Everything is right there under the setting. For your convenience, the dialer, dial pad is also right next to the text uh, where you can type phone, messages, and group. The chat, win, uh, chat, uh, call icon contacts and notifications are also next to each other you can start a call from the top right uh, and before you do that uh, you can also uh, good to let you know that you can add files share contacts uh, via chat and also record message hit the start a call and it's kind of redundant but you have to do it a couple of times once you do that you will land into this live page or live session uh, where you have access to the main menu again from this window as well. Once you're done with the call, you can uh, simply sign out. Uh, you can float uh, or maximize the window. It is uh, a good alternative to Zoom as it has been under scrutiny uh, because of the security issues. Not bad for a free account uh, that does not need a Skype uh, account creation. So that is our Skype Meet now. Number two in our list is Zoom. Zoom has been making a lot of noise lately since the pandemic started. Founded in 2011 by Eric Wan, the lead engineer from Cisco WebEx, Zoom is fairly easy to use. You can simply download and install the app for your desktop or mobile devices such as smartphone or tablet or simply use the browser. You can have up to 100 participants even though one-to-one -one meetings are allowed uh, for unlimited time, you can only do 40 minutes for the group chat. Right next to the mic or the uh, mute button, you can uh, set the audio, which is pretty important so they can test the speaker uh, mic so there is no surprises down the road in the middle of the call and have technical difficulties. You want to do the same thing for the video as well. Uh, make sure that you click on the setting and uh, test the video cameras uh, and everything is okay. You can send the invite uh, by clicking the invite by default email, Gmail or Yahoo mail. Simply copy the URL and uh, send it uh, that way. Uh, really nice quality HD voice and video. Uh, that's one of the reasons I like Zoom. Uh, it has a uh, uh, share screen feature can also manage participants sometimes when you're in a you know group of hundreds of uh, people 80 100 people or 50 uh, blasting out chat you know messages is not uh, nice sometimes so private chat is a really cool feature you can also record the meetings and uh, for troubleshoot ticket support is available for those folks who don't like the computer audio can use a dial-in breeze uh, and for your convenience, Google Chrome and Outlook plugins are also available. Security concern called Zoom bombing has been a big thing lately where hijackers are hijacking the call or just you know popping up in the middle. Other than that, it's a great app.
And making to number one in our list is Cisco WebEx. WebEx has been around since 1995. It was acquired by Cisco in 2007. It allows unlimited meetings and up to 100 participants. One of the key strengths of Cisco over other applications is the security feature. The data is encrypted at rest and in transit. That is why more than 2,200 government agencies out there use WebEx. Once you log in, uh, the main portal shows you the meetings, recordings, preferences, where you can see my personal room, audio, video setting, uh, schedule a call, kind of really cool feature. All the recordings are also populated right here. I uh, can go uh, look at the insights uh, for the info uh, for the meetings that you hosted. Support. One of the requirements Cisco has is you must download and install the app. The browser version is not available. Uh, you can also give feedback. Let's go over the scheduling real quick. It's a really unique uh, feature. Uh, you can type any name for your meeting. I would leave the password as is uh, because uh, the participant will be just clicking the link so they don't have to type in anything. Uh, so it could be system generated, pick up the time zone depending on where you live. Once you type in the email address, copy and paste, uh, scroll down, I would leave everything uh, as is by default and uh, hit save and send that to the email the participant will see that in their inbox and once they accept it it will be added to their calendar so very simple once you uh, go back to the home and start a meeting you have to do it a couple of times kind of redundant but once you uh, start the meet meeting then you will be on the live session uh, the dial-in phone breeze is available if you don't want to use the computer audio. Uh, sometimes people just don't like to, you know, be on a WebEx, I mean, uh, on a webinar, so they just like to listen. I can record the session uh, as well as do the private and public chat. Uh, really cool feature. And you can see all these different options right from the, uh, the three dots menu. Uh, right next to the uh, on the bottom right the screen share feature is also available however you have to allow your computer to uh, let Cisco use uh, share the screen uh, I use Mac so for me uh, I have to just go and open my system preferences and uh, let it use give Cisco permission the WebEx permission to use my uh, my screen and once I do that that feature will be enabled and uh, you will be able to see that right here and uh, that's pretty much it uh, because the security feature and the advanced pack feature I get uh, we have given this number one uh, please make sure to like, uh, hit subscribe and the bell button for more videos like this. And thank you. See you the next time.